Okay, let's take a look at part seven of our Space War tutorial. We're gonna learn how to update the game status and show you that, and show the scoring and play some sounds. So let's see what we have so far. Um, we've got the player, we've got the enemy, which we can shoot, and it kind of jumps around. And theory. We've got border detection, okay. And we've got an ally that kind of moves in a different direction to the uh, enemy. So what we're gonna do is we wanna add a little status at the top of the screen telling us kind of what's going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my game class where we drew the border and I'm going to I'm gonna use the same pen and I'm gonna create a new method called show status. So what we want to do uh, is show a message. So for example, equals, um, well, let's, let's do score for now. Score, percent S, and it is percent self.score. Okay. So because up here, I've got a score for the game and so this message, we want to print that on the screen. So to do that, uh, self.pen.pen up, we want to make sure that is not going to draw anything. Self.pen.go to, and I calculated this before, um, but 300, 310 is about where we want it to draw the text. And here's the, tur it's actually a turtle method, but because we use that as our super class, we're going to use, we can use the right method here. So I'm going to write the message, and the font equals Arial, size 16, and normal. So like not bold or italic or anything like that. Okay, so, so let's try that and see what happens. Oh, and the thing is, when are we going to draw that? So we have to show the So it's game dot show status. Okay. So let's see what happens there. Okay, so you can see up there we've got score is zero. Let's shoot something, see what happens. Oops. Okay, I'm terrible at my own game, but that's okay. Okay, I shot it. Nothing happened. So we need to do a few things. So Check for a collision between the missile and the enemy. So if that's the case, we need to increase the score. So increase the score. So, so it's game.score plus equal. Let's say the enemy is worth 100 points. And let's say if we shoot the ally, we want to decrease the score. We'll say minus 50. All right, let's run it. See if anything happens. What do you think? Just missed. Okay, notice the score didn't change. Okay, so it's because we haven't updated this. If you'll note, this is outside of the main game loop, so it doesn't happen. So what we want to do is when there's a change, we want to update the status. Only in that case. If we do it too often, it'll slow things down. So, uh, so when I shoot this guy, the score should go to 100. Okay, if you look up there, it changed. You did see a change. Okay, see how it looks a little, really kind of weird? Oops. Okay. If you look up here, you can see what's going on is it's it's basically putting it on top of each other. Okay, so what we have to do is, and this is kind of a workaround. There, there's other ways to do this, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 
self dot pen dot dot undo. Okay, and so this is where okay, self dot pen dot. So basically, what we need is we're going to use the undo method. Okay. And so that means that we need something up here for it to undo. We don't want to unhide the turtle. So I'm going to put the pen down because it's actually not going to be moving anymore, so it's not going to matter. But when I get this undo, it will put the pen back up. Okay. But the second time, because the pen's already been up, it's going to undo the previous write. And that's a bit confusing, but trust me on this one. I should test it first, make sure it does that. Okay, so 100. Okay, so you see how it flashes a little bit because it's undoing the previous drawing action. Okay, and I can also make it lose points when the player collides with with one of those guys too. Let's let's do that. So, so if the player collides with the enemy, you know, game dot fame, game dot score. Minus equals 100. Let's say you lose 100 points when you collide with the enemy. Let's just test it again. Every time you make a change like that, oops, forgot to show the status. So game dot show status. List. Okay, I collided minus 100, minus 200. Oops, minus 300. I'm not very good at this. Okay, so, okay, so that's how we kind of add the message there at the top and using the write method from the turtle module. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to add sound. Okay, now this one is a little bit tricky um, because the sound that we're, the way we're going to do sound, because there's no real built in way to do sound on Python. Um, people will use Pygame and some other libraries. Uh, but for this tutorial, to keep it simple, we just want to use what's built into our computers. And uh, since I work somewhere where everybody has a Mac, I mean, this is going to work on a Mac. Um, if you have a Linux, uh, there's a similar command, which I'll, uh, I'll mention. Uh, Windows, I'm sorry, I just don't know enough about it uh, to tell you what to do. Um, it's something I'm sure you can Google. Uh, so, first thing we need uh, is we need some uh, sound files. Now, I've already uh, put some sound files into my folder. Um, I have explosion.mp3, and I've got, I forget what the other one's called. Um, yeah, what's that called? Uh, sorry, it's here in my notes somewhere. Laser.mp3. Okay, so, uh, so what I want to do is when. I fire the missile, so I go up to my missile sprite you know, code, and so when I fire the missile, okay, I'm going to play the sound. So play missile sound. Okay. Now how I'm going to do that is os.system, and on Mac there's something called AF play. Now. Um, on Linux, it's called A play, A P L A Y. Um, probably on Linux, you'll have to use uh, WAV files. Um, I find that MP3s don't work very well. Uh, Mac sometimes MP3s work, sometimes they don't. You just have to play around with it. But WAVs are usually pretty safe. Uh, I'm not quite sure all the you know, restrictions on that one. But it's laser.mp3, and this is in the same folder as Space War, the Space War as the, as the Python file. And I have to add an ampersand at the end. If I don't um, it'll play the sound, the game will pause while the sound is playing, and then keep going. If you add the ampersand, the sound will play in the background. Okay, so let's test that. And hopefully, volume's up here. So I'll run in terminal. So, okay. So you can see how, or you can hear it now, we've got a little bit of a sound effect. So, it's very simple. So now what I can do is uh, when there's a collision, so I'm going to play the explosion sound. 
And again, I've, I found these these files on the internet, um, free sites. So explosion. Including with the enemy, and I'm putting the sound part at the beginning because, oops, because sometimes there is a delay uh, between when the sound starts. Um, so this will give you a better chance of it. Yeah, so this will give you a better chance of it matching uh, the animation. Okay, so let's try that. So you can hear the explosion sound. And all right. And we can get different types of explosion sounds for different different collision events. But this is a simple game, so let's keep it simple. And okay, let's stop there. So you've learned how to add sounds and how to draw the status onto the uh, screen.